how is it diagnosed and treated? Uh, there are various techniques which we have to diagnose. First, when the patient approaches us, we try to understand the symptoms. What are the symptoms? Are there, uh, and what has been the history of the patient? Uh, taking note of the history of the patient, and what has been the history of the patient? Taking notes of that, accordingly, then we move towards the diagnosis uh, and confirming the diagnosis. Uh, starting with MRI of the brain, uh, MRI of the cranial nerves. These are the nerves which are connected from your brain towards the facial structure, जो uh, ears, eyes और nose और आपके mouth और facial structure में जाती है। uh, इसका भी MRI करवाते हैं from radio imaging point of view. Sometimes we even do EMG test to to see the uh, intensity of this uh, virus on the nerves and how it is affecting. And इसके अलावा these are uh, investigations, these are radio and imaging. Investigations. Jo, iske alawa jo investigations hoti hain, those are blood tests uh, which we perform to see the condition, the inflammation of the patient. Just say after CBC ho gaya, to figure out what is the level of the infection there. ESR. These are certain tests. HSV one, HSV two. These are certain tests jo ham karwate hain uh, from you know pathological standpoint to figure out the inflammation level of this virus in your body. So once that all comes along with the diagno uh, with the uh, with the history of the patient, the symptoms of the patient. इसको जब हम सारा accumulate करते हैं, तब we come to a proper diagnosis कि ये रामसे हंट सिंड्रोम है. Because different differential diagnosis में इसके आता है Bell's palsy जो कि बहुत कुछ similarity है उसमें भी. आपका एक side जो है वो numb पड़ जाता है, weakness हो जाती है. So just to avoid that kind of confusion, we go through all this, these tests and which are very necessary. So these are the diagnoses. In terms of treatment, again, it depends uh, on the patient condition. So if uh, the patient is having convulsions along with this, means if they epilepsy or medi, sometimes we even give antidepressants to patients. Uh, कभी कभी पेशेंट्स को वर्टिगो होता है चक्कर आते हैं और इसके अलावा एंटीवायरल का एक स्पेसिफिक डोज चलाया जाता है जस्ट टू कीप दिस वायरल वायरस डोमिनेट डोरमेंट सॉरी तो ताकि उसको ज़्यादा वो बढ़े ना ज़्यादा उसका इम्पैक्ट ना हो आपकी बॉडी तो एंटीवायरल्स चलाए जाते हैं ताकि ये वायरल जो डिजीज है आपके अंदर ये डॉर्मेंट हो जाए ये कम हो जाए इसका वायरल लोड ना हो बेसिक so these are certain medications that we start. Uh, sometimes even we start steroids, uh, depending on the condition of the patient, the symptoms and everything. So these are various combination, I would say, uh, that we have uh, to start with. And then follow up with the patient is very necessary so that we can keep a track of these medications. A follow up is necessary so that we can see patient conditions are improving. Accordingly, हम उस medicines को नीचे लेके आते हैं, उसको taper करते हैं, down करते हैं, ताकि ज़्यादा medications time time पे ना चलें और ज़्यादा देर तक ना चलें, unnecessary. So इसलिए एक patient के साथ regular follow up करना बहुत ज़रूरी है. So अगर doctor आपको कहते हैं, या neurologist आपको कहते हैं कि during this time you should come, you should go and see. So these are the diagnosis and treatment options of Ram Singh. That's all.